So we're here today to deliver the petition to the Queensland Government um, asking for more national parks and more funding for national parks. So we've collected over 2,000 petition signatures on this petition, as well as 28 environment groups on an open letter, collectively representing 47,000 people. As well as that, we've got an open letter um, from recreation groups. We've also been collecting loads of stories from people about why national parks are important to them. And we're going to be delivering that to the minister as well. Thanks again, everyone, for coming. Um, and just acknowledging we're on Jagger and Turbal land. Sorry, he was never seated. Um, just a quick recap of the weekend. So the Palaszczuk government released a protected area strategy with 60 million funding. Um, so that's off the back of the pressure that the environment groups were putting on the government to actually deliver, as they said they would, in this term of government. So um, uh, thank you to our partners that we've been working with at, at, um, across the environment movement, uh, but also thanks to you as well for um, helping and giving your time to support the campaign. Over the next few weeks, as we go into uh, the election period, we'll be asking all parties to announce what they're going to commit to spending on national parks and bringing back species from the brink of extinction. We need to make sure that our national parks are properly managed to uh, build resilience to climate change. We're calling for more funding and for more management, and this is jobs on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is a palm cockatoo. They are classified as vulnerable. In Australia, they are only found in Cape York, far north Queensland. With increased disturbance of their habitat, their future depends on more well-managed national parks.